President Trump and the First Lady have announced they're now in quarantine after contracting the coronavirus, both testing positive as the new surge continues throughout the country and work on a vaccine intensifies. Here's Mike Tobin. As a new coronavirus surge continues, more than 40,000 new cases were confirmed on Thursday, including President Trump and the First Lady, who are now both undergoing a 14-day quarantine. Overall, rates of infection are up in some two dozen states, with hospitals here in the Midwest now seeing a major uptick in COVID-related admissions, putting a strain on resources and personnel. Four weeks ago, I had 13 COVID patients in our hospitals. Today, I have 64. That's a six-fold increase uh, in the number of people admitted. 95% uh, of my beds are full. The CDC says school reopenings have been a big driver of the new surge, and most states are now using some sort of distance learning. But on Thursday, New York City, the country's largest school district, reopened all 1,600 public schools for in-person classes, promising to put safety first. One of the things we need to do to move forward is make sure that we have rigorous and consistent testing for the coronavirus in our schools. The CDC also making a big push to distribute more than 190 million flu vaccinations, 12% more than last year, hoping to avoid what some doctors are calling a twindemic of seasonal flu and COVID-19, which could result in a public health nightmare. There's considerable concern as we enter the fall and the winter months and into the flu season that will have that dreaded overlap of two respiratory-borne diseases. And as a race for a vaccine intensifies, Pfizer's CEO is vowing his company will not give in to political pressure, but still expects to be ready for regulatory review by November. In Chicago, Mike Tobin, Fox News.